Oh, the Duke sensor is some really kinky shit. How's it going everyone? Sweet Daddy Brown here and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon's Dogma. Right now I was exploring the western side of Grancis because there was a an escort quest that I had to bring a, a kid over here. And we found ourselves in the wilted forest. I hadn't explored this area before. There's also another path that leads to the northwest. But I'm gonna check out what's in this building. Actually, I already know what's in this building. Oh, over here, Chris. I can't get the Chris for that quest. There's a quest I need to get to any of them, but I'm using a big ol' hammer, so it's kinda hard. But. I'm pretty sure there's a quest here, and is that Kina? Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. You've come. There she is. I came here to the Abbey in hopes they might find me worthy to send on to the Grand Cathedral in Aldring. No place holds so much wisdom concerning the dragon as there. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure if she ever told me to come to the Abbey, but she kind of forgot to give me directions. And I just noticed I don't have any of these thorn flowers. Nice stuff. But anyway, she's just gonna give My us a quest. I train as a sister of the faith. I'm to, they say I oh, whoops. as a healer. That if I labor hard enough, I they say I'll learn to grant blessings upon others through flowers. I fear I am a poor judge of such things. Still, what say you, cousin? Uh, might as well take it. It is said a blessing of flowers leaves the recipient awash with joyous feeling. Any luck? Though in truth, it is the mother superior here I must convince of my abilities. And the priests. I must show them I have an aptitude as a healer. But as I said before, I have little notion what to expect. Could I ask you to give a flower to someone and tell me of their response? Uh, sure. Hey lady, you want this flower? Is... Is this one of Kina's flowers? No, surely not. To imbue the bloom with such energy after such a short time. Tis enough to make me doubt my senses. Pray, have the priest in Grand Soren or Cassidus take a look. In truth, she may yet pass the Great Cathedral's gates earlier than not. Okay, so a random side character, Kina, that I wouldn't have found Unless I stumbled upon this alley or looked it up. <laughs> is apparently An abbey a very strong Seems healer or something. Doesn't seem like there's actually anything worth noting inside the abbey itself, so... We're gonna be teleporting back to Grand Soren, but... I don't have a poor crystal to get back here, so it's gonna... Gonna take a bit, fam. Let me see if there's actually a poor crystal hidden nearby or something. Girl. Looks like a cottage. This is a dormitory. What am I doing here? Okay, so to Grand Soren we go. Come back here. God damn it. Okay, here we are back at Grand Soren. She trains in the blessing of flowers, does she? And she bears the gifts of a healer. How wonderful. I should like to see her handiwork. One look at such a flower is enough to glean the power of they who blessed it. This is Kina's then? How marvelous. It would seem she is gifted indeed. Perhaps it will not be so long before the Mother Superior writes the mainland on Kina's behalf. To think on it gives me joy. It was the Maker's hand guided her here to our church. I know it. Kina will be eager to hear what the All right. To say. And now we have to report back to Kina, which means I have a long trek ahead. You triumphed. There are the skeletons. Sheds the mortal coil. I am the one who sips the earth. I am he who sets the world to burn. We are the nameless men. Your life belongs to us. Alrighty then, we're back over here. And what did the father say? Then they acknowledge my skill as a healer. I knew I was right to have come here. 
If I continue at this pace, I am sure to earn transfer to the Great Cathedral. I swear I will. Then I shall learn more of the dragon to aid in your journey. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Now. Shit. <laughs> Good thing we found this quest. But Kina's character is pretty random. There really isn't any backstory to her, and you don't know why she wants to help the main character so much. So it's kind of kind of random. So now we're going to head back to Grand Sewer and do those quests we were supposed to do earlier. Alright, my lady. Where are you at? Ah, the same spot. Maker, you've come, Arisen. Maybe this two weeks nice. late, but Most I've lies. made it here. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Forgive the ramblings of a handmaiden on a strange errand. It's only Milady's request to see you is a rare thing, you see. First in all my years with her, in truth, I trust you understand the delicacy of the situation. Milady is a married woman, I need not remind you. And well, yes, even innocent conversation could be bent foul were it discovered by others. Pray, walk softly, Arisen, and have a care to let none find you visiting Milady's chambers. Alright, so I gotta be sneaky about it, huh? Meet Eleanor by night. How am I gonna... How am I gonna reach her chamber, though? Hmm... Oh, maybe through this entrance. No, no. Those are the maids. This is where I'm supposed to go. I don't think I see any other way to get there other than the main... Main route. Yeah, as you can see there. Oh, there's a chest here. That's only got a clawed one, but we'll have to figure out how to get over there. Okay, so I decided to come in from the right side, maybe. Oh. Heard a door open. My, my. <laughs> She's too great an honor for one of my stature. No, neither of you see me. No. Let, let's pretend that none of you can see me. Yeah, no one can see me. Nope. I am the sneakiest arisen. So there's really no way to actually do this properly. You just walk right in the, the front doors and just head into her, her room. Why does she have like this whole section locked off for her? Just for her. It's like she's... She's being held hostage or something. <laughs> My warrior has come for me. Damn, I'm tall. Shit. You must think me a shameless harlot. Yeah, pretty much. Would that words could prove my love is pure. I just met you last. after a long day's ruling, sire. No. You must hide. There is a fool to fulfill that dragon. Yes, quickly. You storm my lady's bedchambers with the urgency of a man in battle. <laughs> Fear not. I shan't eavesdrop on the ducal proceedings. I remain to stand watch at the guard. I freaking hate this jester. For your protection, of course. <laughs> Duke does not approve. What's dripping from his mouth? My Is he Lord drunk? Edwin, would you had mentioned your coming? I might have dressed more finely. What's wrong with this dude? Forgive me. <laughs> My Lord Edmund is something. <laughs> oh. Forgive me. I was wrong. I take it back. 
Oh, the Duke sent you some really kinky shit. Am I really just gonna stand there? No, mate. My dude. We can't have that. <laughs> just stare at him like, this ain't right, man. She fucking serious. He stole into my room. I was terrified. This commoner must be made to learn, sire. Well then. Give him a taste of the lash and a stay in the dungeon. I didn't just save your life or anything. No. Festy, Festy, I know you're there. The lady is mistaken. I would never violate his grace's privacy while he violates the lady's privacy. I'll take none of your jakes, fool. So I thought it was a duke himself who arrested me, but I didn't remember it properly. It was this bitch. Well, damn. And I'm not sure what was up with the well, duke there. What have we here? Oh, shit. Friend of the Duchess, sneaking off to her chambers for a cup of tea. It must be a fine tea. What to come all this way in the dead of night? Or perhaps you seek refreshment of a different sort, like a turn in the sheets with his grace's own wife. This fucking good. Damn. You're tougher than you seem. Perhaps there's aught to this arisen business after all. Oh no, she's crying in a corner after fucking me over. I got you, bitch. I got you. Never forget. This is why bros over hoes, fam. Some really shitty love story they got going on here. Break any law and you may find yourself arrested and imprisoned. You can't use items or change equipment in the castle dungeons with few exceptions. Okay. Ooh, large mushroom. But the reason I came here is because I already knew I was going to get locked up since, like I said, I already did this quest on my first playthrough. I, but I haven't done an innocent man, but... He's supposed to be here somewhere in the, the dungeon, so I thought might as well do them together. And should be here apparently. What skeleton key? My permit. They're my son. He's safe. That voice, though. That such a fate could befall me. I never so much as considered it. Twas ill luck alone put me in this spot. I but overheard a conversation. I was attending to my duties as a royal aide, and a nobleman spoke nearby, yes? But I knew them not, and gave their fervent whispers little attention. Yet without warning, I found myself summoned by a guardsman. He accused me of spying on the pair, and banished me to the dungeon forthwith. Rip. I've lived the memory many times over in this place. 
most like I could recall parts of the conversation if pressed. But that means naught now. I seek only to save my life, or failing that, keep harm from my son. Time is short. The guard will return here long and begin their interrogation. Most like they'll employ torture, which leaves my chances of survival pitifully low. I implore you, Arisen. Lead me from this terrible place. You are my final hope. Save me, sir. I beg of you. I got you, Finn. I know that feel. So, from what I read... Oh, fuck. Let's get out there here. But from what I read, he's, uh... Where the fuck are my items? He probably overhead fornable talking to someone else. And... It's, it's okay, just supporters. Pardon, sir. And snacks. Well, he probably overheard Fornable since Arisen. he was. Pardon, I think I was supposed to get his testimony or something for the Fornable quest, but since we already finished it, there. It's really no point. Arisen. Please, Pardon, snacks. Sir. You can't even kick him. He just punched the air and killed him. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Are you getting attacked? Pardon, there you sir. Go. So he's just gonna get spooked by every little thing. Uh, royal banner. Okay. Where the fuck? Oh, I forgot they teleport. You got a very bad supporter problem down here. Don't mind me. I'm doing doing work even though I'm imprisoned. The lock opens. There we go. I feel more familiar with his question. Master, you're hurt! How did this happen? Well, that's a bit complicated. We've escaped the castle. Let's do the southern gate. Our pursuers dare not follow into the city proper. We've not long now arisen. Alright. So where do we go here? Yeah, that's where we came from. Oh, this is... Okay, I remember coming over here and checking it out. This is where Mason lives. He just chills last. Yes? What? Pity, is it? Charity for the criminals, girl! Oh, yeah. Something else I read was that Fornable's daughter was forced to live in the slums, which is right here, because she got kicked out of her home. Feels bad. You're good, though. Aren't you kind? Know this, sir. I will see this debt repaid. I take charity from no one. Mere thanks seem nothing weighed against your actions arisen. Without your aid, I would not stand before you, nor see my son again. This oh, whole ordeal that's has lead. a foul air about it. I fear the whispers I overheard are joined to sinister workings in the duchy. Perhaps we shall learn what the talk concerned here long. I only pray it causes us no further trouble. Now you're good. I've naught with which to repay your kindness. But if ever you find yourself in need, only say the word. What is this song? Your side. Make her guide you until then, Arisen. Okay. So are we done here? Hey, lad. How's it going? I owe you so much, Arisen. Thank you. And... You? I can ill return. Okay. Alright. Why is the quest... Those without a trade or the means to earn away Why do I have... Here. Please tell me I didn't glitch it. Because I started talking to that last... Innocent man. Details. Speak with the citizenry of the. Uh, rescue him from the dungeon without alerting the guard. I already did that. So I'll. Seems that many people live here as hmm. well. I'll get out of here, and that might fix things. Oh, through here. So let's see what happens. Are we good? I'll probably have to head back to Casardis or some shit like that. 
Such a weird. There we go. Nice. Do I have all my items back though? I do. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the castle and talk to the dude that gives us quests. And uh, we'll continue the main story like none of this ever happened. Even though I just escaped the, the dungeon. And yeah. Oh, what the hell? This is Madeline's shop. I never found it because I didn't. I didn't bother walking in here even after seeing that cutscene. Here for business? Then you've heard not the news. Madeline's in some trouble of late. Oh. She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Ripo led. Inquire after Madeline. Oh. Speak with nearby townspeople to uncover clues about Madeline's sudden disappearance. Well, it's definitely not to do with that sketchy business she was up to to find reason. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Is this a dagger? I guess this is for. Then we'll be wanting her dagger returned. Oh crap! This is Madeline's dagger. Really? Tis Madeline's blade. Make no mistake. Has something happened? Here for business? Madeline, she abandoned. Hmm. So I'll have to figure out what happened to Madeline. I guess I'll do that before then continuing the main quest. I think tree, this is one of the ones the that the you have to do before we do the next quest, because I, I believe it'll be a new chapter in the story. Where if you do that current main story quest, it's gonna. You're gonna fail the previous ones. Previous side quest that you haven't finished it. Madeline shop? Sure. Everyone knows of it. She bought the place when the first donor fled the dragon. Opened for business soon after. She has a fine head for figures. Bit stingy with the credit, if I dare say so. It's odd she closed so sudden like. I'd wager there's more to this tale than we can say. Others must have seen what happened. Let's ask around. Alright, seek out Madeline and Grand Sword. So apparently. I know her exact location, somewhere by the aqueducts, because just talking to two people, magically, oh, sorry lad, magically lets me know where her nearby location is. Mm, should be down here somewhere. So yeah, her shop has always been in that part of the town this whole time, but I never bothered looking for it. It is one of the shops though that you can give an idol we to. We seek a merchant oh. named Madeline, or isn't? Have you seen her? Oh. Damn! This search is but one grand jeep. You have my thanks, or isn't? We'll scour every. All right. Ah, there she is. That's a uh, that's nice animation, right? Come back, Madeline. Yeah, just let them know. Just let those guards know where Madeline just went. That's good. Good stuff. Okay, where the hell should go? I just came from these waterways. Why are you making me... That's some nice fault. Uh, are those... Harpies or... What does that look like? You remember the harpies... Why does it look like that? Yeah, like they're coming in this direction. So I'm discovered at last. You must believe me. I've done nothing wrong. They're probably just seagulls. That looks really fucking ominous though. They say I dealt in banned goods. I saw the cutscene, Madeline. If it's I know true, what you I did. I swear it was not my intent. I had, but as I don't expect them to take me at my word, I was forced into hiding. I fled in such haste, all my goods were left behind. More's the pity, I suppose. Wish I'd thought to secure my dagger. It's a kind of charm what brings good fortune, you see. Maker's breath! That's... that's my dagger! Oh, you beautiful thing! I can hardly believe it! I could just kiss you. I have not the words to thank you. 
Prove it. It's been at my side ere I started my trade many moons ago. But then I've greater concerns at the moment. I've never seen trouble the likes of this. Even now, I feel the tears welling. It took all of my will and every last bit of gold to see that shop opened. And now, if you hadn't found me, I don't know what I'd do. Huh? No! Soldiers! What? What? What the hell's going on here? Oh, hello, good sir. I arisen. Well met. We pursue a female merchant named Madeline. Okay. She is charged by his grace with trafficking in those queer medallions. <laughs> As a symbol of salvation, the sale of such is blasphemy and treason both. We mean to arrest her and uncover the girl's connection to the zealot's leadership. We believe she is in hiding near here. Have you seen aught that might aid us? No, I kind of don't like the duke at the moment, so he could go fuck himself. No, we have reports she fled here. Me and the duke aren't really in good terms. Ho! Oh, there she is! What? Don't let her escape! Forgive me, sir. Duty calls. Wait, what? <laughs> what? You... you saved me. Thank you. You see when that pink glow is going on, that means their affinities met. As a reason, I suspect lying does not come easy. I'm sorry to have asked it of you. I can tarry no longer. I must seek safety somewhere further off. I'm at peace with the loss of my shop and merchandise. Such things can be replaced. Oh, so that means I, I can't buy. But parting from you is a blow far more cruel. What? I speak from the heart. It shames me to ask for more when you have given me so much. Yet, might you spare some gold for my travels? My hasty departure left me without a single I already gave you gold. If all goes well, I shall pay you back in full. You know what? I'm doing this for the game plus, okay? Because I know you'll give me some dank discounts. Thank you. You show such kindness to this foolish girl, and I, I love you for it. Oh. Once I'm safely Rippo. away, I will establish a new shop in whatever place my travels take me. And when my purse jingles once again, I shall track you down and repay my debt. Okay, Les. I already know you're thirsty for that other dude, so walk along now. I must be off. I must say, before leaving Cassidus with you, my life was utterly hopeless. But see how far I've come. I even had a shop of my own. If only for a moment, I can take pride in that. And as this adventure failed to kill me, perhaps I may even learn aught from it. Or not. I know not what fortune holds for you, Arisen. But I trust it will be terrifically exciting. <laughs> She's such Please a... Please don't die. Promise me you'll come see me in my next shop. I got you. I didn't Farewell, even see your first one, so... Hopefully I can find the next one. I think she dealt a magic item, so I didn't really lose much, but... Okay. That awkward... Blow kiss, or kiss blow. Blow kiss kind of sounds wrong. Oh. I've learned what to do in this quest. There we go. And yeah, there's that little thing. So we're gonna go back to the castle and see what the Duke has in store for us yeah, after what such forgotten corners escaping. Aye, tis a shame, but she's the sort to flourish wherever she goes. Yes, random pawn that I just hired a few minutes ago. You definitely know Madeline. Okay, yep, off to the duke. There's the lads. Everyone's here. How's it going? How's it going, everyone? We all good? We doing fine? Hail Arisen. Good news. His grace has taken notice of your feats. <laughs> Selected you to lead an expedition. It is a difficult task, but of critical importance to the defense of the front. 
The Duke was adamant that none would do so fine as you, sir. Yes, not not awkward at all. After what just happened. The journey will take you afar, Arisen. Oh. If you've tasks to complete or personal matters to attend to, pray, do so now. It is like you will not see Grand Soren for some time. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, might as well. Then come. The Duke wished to see you before you set out. Oh, oh, we're starting it now. Okay. Like, immediately now. Alright. Like, right before I end the episode. So, how's your day been? Everything fine? Yeah. <laughs> Had a nice night at the dungeon last time. Very nice and cozy. Torture tree, that was fun. This is like a throne room or something. Duke Solar. So let's see how the Duke responds to me. It seems the office of Arisen brings with it equal parts strength and ambition. Yeah, th th that quest wasn't really well done. I am greatly pleased by your work, sir. I would see you rewarded for all you've done. Come, follow me. I have ought to give you before you set out. You just tortured me. Like a few hours ago. Well, it wasn't you personally, but you had me tortured. And now you're acting like nothing happened, and I escaped too. Yeah, this seems legit. Oh. So that's what was inside behind these doors. What treasure? Can I take all this shit? This is a really small treasury room, by the way. There's no call for humility, sir. Take it. The expedition will no doubt hold its share of dangers. May the Maker speed your steps. Okay. Paladin's mantle. Oh. Can I take the rest of your treasures? Let me just. Let me just uh, save this Aruni. Just in case. Badge of merit. Oh, I guess I can. Golden bastard. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm sure he said take everything in the room. Urgent news, your grace. A messenger has come bearing word from the Great Wall. The hold has fallen to a man calling himself the leader of salvation. Oh boy. He's taken captives and threatens to offer up a grand sacrifice to see the land cleansed. The expedition will keep arisen. Head for the Great Wall at once and quash salvation's designs afore they're realized. This matter takes precedence over all others. Now go. Alright, my good man. So yeah, that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll recapture the Great Wall, as it says right there, and go on that little expedition. I'm wondering if we'll actually see new lands, or if it's just on a certain part of the map that was inaccessible before, which we're heading to. So yeah, see you then.